All right, welcome to match number three. This is pretty much a blue-red control hand that happens to be playing Cinderglade. We're on the draw. Ramand is a lot worse on the draw. This doesn't have any ramp spells. I think in the dark this is actually relatively bad of a hand. Uh, I think there's lots of decks where we struggle you know, if they go like Thoughtseize Tarmogoyf, we are quite dead. If they go Goblin Guide, we're quite dead. Um, hell, if they go Urza's Mine, I think we're quite dead here. I think that there is a reasonable argument for mulliganing this. So I am going to. This hand is a lot worse, uh, so we'll go to five. This hand is actually, I think... Reasonable five. We'll keep that island on top and we'll see what we can do. We're not totally convinced on mulliganing with this deck. Um, and that first hand may have been a keep. I think it was very close. Um, it's possible that, for example, Celestial Colonnade, it's good against. But I think we're okay against Celestial Colonnade decks anyway. And I think that our average six is better than the one that we saw. So I am happy to just say go. So I'm quite to have loaded up on Field of Ruins and Spreading Seas, which thankfully for us shouldn't be too big of an issue because we're less soft to the LD than the uh, Titan Shift decks are because we don't tend to put a Valakut into play unless it's going to kill you. All right, there we go, magic number. Uh, what opponent did he top topped off his first serum visions and now he will draw one of the cards he tops and then bottom top, which is not unexpected. Uh, so search for tomorrow comes off tomorrow, uh, t next turn. Uh, so search for tomorrow is probably going to get a blue source. Uh, if we can find a spot to slam Jace against this deck, I am feeling in a reasonable spot. Um, hmm. So we can slam Jace next turn. We won't have enough green sources to cast Scape Shift. This is a charm, it's probably not doing anything else very soon. I'd like to deny our opponent the draw, because it seems like he might not have a land if he's spreading seeds in like this. Could be bait, but I'm still okay. Is it charming with spreading seeds anyway? Okay, he's gonna tap land. Alright, let's untap and play Jace. I guess actually it really didn't matter that Spreading Seas. Maybe I shouldn't have fought over it. Um, because I can get, I could get like a forest with this if I wanted to. As it is, I'll get an island. Um, play a stomping ground. That's probably wrong actually. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, they can take me off of double green no matter what, so. And brainstorm. So I'm interested in most of these. Uh, but I don't think I'm interested in the, hmm. What all of them? So maybe I don't want to cast the Far Seek next turn. But I do kind of want to cast the Far Seek next turn. So I want Far Seek and Remand. Well, I only have to shuffle away one card, right? So maybe it's like Cryptic uh, below Steam Vents. Feels weird to shuffle away a cryptic, but I can't actually cast it without casting the far seek. Oh, and I can always um I can always brainstorm first, right? Unless they kill Jace. Which they might do. Plays the lone Jace? That would actually be okay. I think I'm in a reasonable spot against an opponent's Jace. You could plus. Yep. Going for the aggressive plus, and I guess I do play Lightning Bolts, so it's probably correct to Fate Seal if your opponent plays Lightning Bolt. You don't really want them to get an immediate free kill on your Jace. Leaves it on top. Yep, that's what I expected. Uh, let's, because I want all these cards, let's brainstorm again. Well, I want, I want less of these cards. Uh, Cryptic Command lets us do something where they probably have to fight in their end step. They have one, two, three, four mana. Next time they have five mana, they need six mana to activate Celestial Colonnade, so our Jace is safe currently. Um, Let's put back two mountains. I think we can find lands, is basically the thought process. Play a land. If 
Fossic, get a breeding pool. Uh, we've left up remand for anything they try and do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the plan is Jace brainstorm, find a land. I wish we should have kept lands with the cryptic then. I think we're safer with cryptic. Plan looks at the top card. Oh, what could it be? Problem is, like, wh what do you have to put back? You have to put back everything. Oh, I guess he's leaving on top. Anyways, I'm happy with a land. I'm happy with you know, almost anything. I guess except maybe lightning bolt. Oh well, I'd rather. I don't really care about shuffling. Oh, another Jace. That's fun. I will do the Jace shuffle. I don't need double cryptic, do I? I don't think. It's kind of interesting. They probably have something like logic knot. Um, would be my guess. Put those two back. Play a flooded grove. Our plan, I think, is to end of turn bounce his Jace. Um, and put him in a position where he can't. He has to fight over the the Jace. Uh, in his end step, and then we get to untap and just scape shift him. I think it is a mistake on his part to be plus twoing and not zeroing. Um, clearly, he thinks he needs to win the game fast, but also if you're going to plus two looking at yourself, it's just. <sighs> but basically, it allow it means that he doesn't have a great hand. He's not hitting land drops, and we do. Uh, turn the, the, that one blue into two blue. Uh, I will turn target permanent to its owner's hand, draw a card. See, like, he could have been, um, he could have found a land drop, he could have colonnaded the Jace, and that's probably bad. Uh, he probably doesn't want to colonnade the Jace, I don't think, but... Oh, we're cryptic command! Counter target spell, draw a card, and you have, oh, one, one card left, one, one land left open? That's fine. I didn't care about my cryptic command resolving anyway. Uh, I don't think we've shuffled, so we'll probably draw like a Flooded Grove or another Jace. One of those would be worse than the other. I don't remember. If we take note of this, hey, it was a Flooded Grove. I put them back in the right order. So play the Flooded Grove. Um, crack the Misty for, I guess, a forest. It's very similar to an island right now, and we could do with a little bit more green. I will brainstorm with Jace to make sure we have the absolute maximum things to do. Put back these two cards that do not matter. And then two green and then all blue. If we can. I guess we'll throw one red in there, why not? Um, We have Cryptic Command up for anything our opponent does, and we also have Remand. All right. Cycle our lands. Yeah, I do sacrifice both Flooded Groves, yeah. Go get uh, Valakut. We had eight lands, right? Yeah, we had eight lands, so we can get Valakut, Valakut, um, and a bunch of mountains. No. That's a lot of Valakut triggers. All right, blue white control. This is the problem with Jace. If you think his power is in his plus two, you're probably wrong. The plus two is something you do at the end of the game to just like, it's a fun, it's a it's a formality. It's you ending the game, but the game was already over. The zero is what ends the game. Uh, and that's why I like Jace in combo shells. So, I think that Anger of the Gods and Sweltering Suns both seem pretty bad.
bad. Uh, I kind of like Lightning Bolt. And I like Dispels and Negates. Lightning Bolt is kind of interesting against... Um, Jace. Because removing him is semi-important. Maybe Electrolyzer isn't very good. It does kill Snapcaster Mage, but I don't think Snapcaster beats is how we die. So maybe we cut two bolts, leave in two, uh, and then just play this suite of counter magic. Because uh, I imagine our opponent is going to be being very careful to play around a possible scape shift, given that that is how they die. It's possible that we can win a um, win by a Jace plus in this matchup specifically uh, because our opponent puts so little pressure on us. But even if they have things like um, uh, what do I call it? Even if they have things like such a colonnade that presents such a problem for us because we can't really kill it. This hand seems quite bad. It has no blue mana and mostly blue spells. Uh, whereas this hand is quite good, I would say. Snapcaster Mage. Um, that's kind of interesting. Get behind the Snapcaster Mage. Two Romans is better than one. And one of them can attack a Jace, or a Gideon, or any other weirdo thing that happens. Gideon can present a bit of a problem, right? Like, we have to kill the Gideon, and then him. We have to do that in the... I guess we don't have to do it in the right order, but we do have to do it like that. This seems like a pretty good curve for the deck. Turn 1 to spend search. Turn 2 secure a tribe elder. Turn 3 jace. We may not jace, depending on uh, how things look. If your opponent taps out, we'll probably jace. But I'm probably leaving in spreading seas, right? Like, do you cut those in this matchup? I feel like maybe you should, but it's possible our opponent doesn't. That's a very nice loaded strand. I would like to cast such tomorrow at some point. Yes. Uh, just play this Steam Vents. It leaves us with the most um, mana. Can I cast something like Spell Snare or something else? Basically, I could have Remand, Logic Knot. Logic Knot would make sense. I'm kind of okay with a Logic Knot on the Secure Tribal, though. I'm assuming that there's a Logic Knot coming. If he's fighting over our ramp, I think we're in a... Okay, there we go, Mana Leak. Weird one for people to be playing, but oh well. Um, I mean, I'm okay if he's fighting over our ramp. Uh, because it means that we're more likely to be able to resolve other things. Getting the Trials also presents us some other issues. Uh, namely, that Jace, the Mind Sculptor, is killed by him. This may go against this. Get an island. So now we can play Jace plus. He doesn't die to Gideon. Then next turn we can play Steve. And that can block the Gideon for a turn. I think that this works out in my head. Going to get a forest. Maybe you might have to look at that, or I could get a breeding pool. Uh, 15, I get a 13. Changes the clock by a turn with the Gideon. I think I'll get a forest, because I can get an island with the Sakura Tribe Scout. Or whatever he is, Elder. Scout goes in a different deck. Play Jace. Plus on. Us. Uh, I don't mind drawing the forest. Maybe it's possible on the draw we're meant to hold up Remand. I like the Gideon of the Trials. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, maybe we are. The more I think about it, the better that sounds, because we have the search. It's not like we need to play the Sakura Tribe Elder. So we can, if he taps out the Gideon of the Trials, we remand it, play Jace, and look at the position we're in. Okay, that's interesting. I think that's a interesting line. Alright, 
right. Um, Chase is going to brainstorm because I shouldn't have played this land first. Don't want Valakut. Uh, do kind of want a scape shift. I don't really want either. I kind of want the second scape shift, but not that much. Um, we'll play a tribe, uh, tribe elder. And I think we can block Gideon for a little while. Yeah, we'll play our Tribe Elder and pass. His opponent could pass it, which would be not great. But is opponent going to keep their pass in in this matchup? That seems very bad for them to do. Okay, opponent blows up Steam Vents. I'm A OK with that. I was planning on shuffling anyway, and I don't need the second red source in this matchup. Maybe the opponent needs more blue sources? That doesn't seem to make sense. They have Mystic Gates. Their mana's pretty perfect. I guess they can wake up Celestial Colonnade if they want to kill Jace, but that seems bad because I think we can kill them then. Or five? Yeah, I think we can kill them if they blow up Celestial Colonnade. Or if they wake up Celestial Colonnade. Path to Exile. I guess Jace is gone. Oh, I'll sack him. Ooh, I think I have to get the mountain now? No, I can get one more island. Oh wait, no, I guess I can block with the Snapcaster Mage if I'm interested in doing that. Snapcaster Mage better than a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Snapcaster Mage better than a Brainstorm, probably. Block the Gideon. I think I'd like one more brainstorm. Especially if our opponent fights over this. Uh, I think we're in reasonable shape because then we like draw a land to win. Uh opponent kept his paths in, which is quite odd to me. I guess he doesn't have enough good cards to or enough good cards to bring in and enough bad cards to take out. And path like gets rid of tribal. I guess maybe he's also worried about Oh, that big baddie. Um Primeval Titan. Really? Okay. So we have not a single land. I guess Is It Charm can be a land. Put back Remand and Cryptic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we find an untapped land, we can still cast Cape Shift with Dispel back up. But maybe it's also just better to is it charm in the end step. I think it's probably better to is it charm in his end step. Uh, I think Jace is pretty dead no matter what. But maybe I can make him fight over things because I can is it charm and discard like Remand and another card and try and cryptic it. I think we should do this now. Oh, I know what I'm drawing. I have to not want... Hmm, this is pretty bad. I can't, also can't Cryptic it, so I guess I'm discarding Remand and Cryptic. This is dumb. I shouldn't have done this now. I should have waited a turn. Oof, wish that JSTOM would find a land. We probably would win if that JSTOM finds a land. But currently, we are on land to win. Second scape shift, not very good. Um, so we may not be on land totally to win, but I think we're very close uh, because opponent has opponent had three cards in hand. Every single one of them has to be a counter spell cap uh, capable of countering scape shift. Uh, otherwise, our opponent is dead because we have dispel and the gate. Uh, if we hadn't misplayed that, is it charm? We may also have had cryptic, but it's kind of hard to cast cryptic and dispel and the gate. So hmm. I think I just messed up that Jace brainstorm a lot. Uh, after not finding a land, I needed to maybe put the Izzet Charm back on top. Okay. Farseek. We can still go off with Scape Shift backup. Um, with uh, Dispel backup. Oh no, we can't, because Farseek gets it tapped. Okay, that's fine. Let's get a Breeding Pool. And say go. Because now we have two Scape Shifts. 
three counter spells. I think our opponent is just dead unless this next draw is the nuts for them. And I'm not sure what the nuts is. Hmm. Play a land. Go seven. So we're dead next turn. So actually, okay, we can play the land though, so that's probably good for us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. Uh, we have one uh, one mountain in the graveyard, one mountain in play, one mountain in hand. So seven mountains in left in the deck. Our opponent does not have a field of ruin or anything, so. Uh, I guess playing the steam vents makes sense. Doesn't change how dead we are or are not. Uh, we cannot. This is eight lands, so we can actually cast double scape shift if he like taps low for this one. If we tap for another green. He has negate. I think we're best served by trying to fight over this. Uh, I guess we can't beat a spell queller no matter what, so we'll just negate his negate. Hmm. No, we should cast our cheap counters first. Don't know. Hopefully, this is a concession because the opponent's hand is full of path to exiles. Opponent is going to snap mana leak. That is bad. I should have cast my dispel first. Um, because now it it turns off his mana leak as a an out. Unless he has, I guess, if he has another counter spell, we're dead anyway, and the dispel still beats the mana leak. So now he needs to have. Oh, we win! Hooray! Now uh, we have eight lands, so we'll get two Valakuts and all the mountains in the world. We did it! I would not like to pay two life. I would like to point a lot of Valakut triggers in my opponent's face. Opponent conceded last time. This time I guess they will allow us the pleasure of pointing a veritable machine gun of volcanoes directly at them. So mo I've never actually killed people with Valakut before. Um, before this league at least. Uh, I am normally a Death Shadow player in modern, and so I'm used to hopelessly looking at my opponent's uh, Valakut triggers uh, and Primeval Titans and wishing that this stupid stubborn denial on my hand was something, I'm not sure what, probably Disdainful Stroke I guess, and that we were already in the post-board games. Feels pretty good to get the, the other way around, especially with this deck. This deck's a lot of fun. Um, okay, well that was match two. Oh, match three even. So many matches. They all whiz by so fast. Uh, I will see you guys in match four.